Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Wednesday the 16th of October, the local media headlines today. And as if Brexit hasn't been exciting enough over the past three years, hold on because the next few days are going to be particularly frantic. Nigel Farage and his Brexit party could hardly have chosen a more appropriate moment to visit Cornwall in their quest for votes. Several hundred people turned out to attend a pro-Brexit rally at the Cambrai Leisure Centre. Cornwall Reports also covered that decision by Cornwall councillors to approve a housing scheme in Bodmin which is going to be less affordable than originally planned, even though the council itself is going to build the new properties. County Hall's strategic planners have been told they can take the rest of the month off. There is so little for them to talk about. A Labour councillor in Penryn has defected to the Green Party and Cornwall Reports noted that the 6th of September next year is the starting date for the Tour of Britain cycle race. Pirate FM was among the media to report an incident on the bridge at Wade Bridge which closed the main A39 road. It happened on Monday afternoon as emergency services dealt with a woman in her 30s who was on the wrong side of the railings. She was later detained under the Mental Health Act. The BBC reported the theft of a Cornish Pirates rugby player's kit stolen from his car following his return from World Cup duty for Fiji. The Cornish Times asked readers not to visit hospitals if they're suffering from a virus. The Cornish and Devon Post marked the installation of a memorial bench in Launceston's Coronation Park. And finally, Cornwall Live looks forward to a foam party at a nightclub in Truro. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.